Get you anything? Coffee? Cigarette? Gluten-free cookie? This is all by the book, right, Puddle? Why don't you just spit it out? Okay, Paul, let's cut the shit. July 17th. You ran a high-risk warrant for two of the largest supplies in the country. You were first in the door, first on the scene. Now I'm told the place is packed. Guns, drugs, cash. Reports say up to 120 mil. Internal affairs want to know where it is. Are you kidding me? It was two guys selling tinnies out of a rented garage. It's not looking good, Paul. Now, all I need is for you to be honest with me. Tell me where it is. If not, dare I say it, you'll go down faster than a three dollar hooker. Look, I don't know what you're on about. I've been doing this job for eight years, and you're trying to put this on me? Listen, Paul, you gonna cooperate? Are you on the take? No. November 21st. You made 213 arrests that day. Yet there were no drugs, no cash, no pearls, no power, no diamonds, no prawns, no sheep. I don't know about you, but it all seems a little bit strange, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds strange. Because it doesn't fit. Look, I don't know where you've got your information from, but you're barking up the wrong tree. Do you know this man? No. I hear you're up for a big promotion. Yeah. And I would never do anything to jeopardise that. Or my wife or kids. You see, Paul, I've already got a witness to testify. This is not looking good for you, Paul. You gotta see where I'm coming from.
going somewhere? No. Not without you, baby. Where's the money? In the back. In the rock? Yeah, 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 it's in the back.